Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 11.6 integration by parts. 11.6 represents chapter 11, section 6 of the Pearson A level Mass Pure Mass Year 2 textbook. I'm going to start off this video by deriving the integration by parts formula. The proof that I'm going to go through is not examinable, but the key thing is to know how to apply the integration by parts formula. The first step in the proof is to write down the product rule for differentiation. The product rule for differentiation says if we differentiate, with respect to x, uv, where u and v are both functions in x, we get u dv over dx plus v du over dx. Now I'm going to make u dv over dx the subject, so if I do this I get u dv over dx is equal d over dx of uv minus v du over dx. The next step is to apply integrals on both sides. So if I do this, I get integral u dv over dx dx is equal to the integral of d over dx uv minus v du over dx in brackets dx. Now I can split this integral into two parts, giving me the integral of d over dx uv dx minus the integral of v du over dx dx. Okay, I know that differentiation and integration are inverses of each other. So using this particular concept, I can now cancel the integral dx with d over dx to give me uv minus integral of v du over dx dx. Therefore, I can now write the integral of u dv over dx dx is equal to uv minus the integral of v du over dx dx and this here ladies and gents is the integration by parts formula integration by parts formula. Alright, now I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to have a look at my proof on the board. Everything is correct and the mathematical language is looking absolutely mint guys, mint. I'm telling you the feeling that you get after looking back at your mathematical presentation, which is correct, is just out of this world. Anyways, we need to know how to apply the integration by parts formula. First of all, inside the integral, you have a product of two functions, u and dv over dx. The key thing is picking your u correctly. Okay, so if the product u dv over dx consists of an ln of something, then your u will be the ln. However, if your product u dv over dx does not consist of ln, but consists of x to the power n, where n can be any real number, then in that particular case, u will be your x to the power n. Right, now I'm going to find the following integrals. Number one, integral of x sine x dx, I'm going to start off by writing that u has to be ln, if not, x to the power n. In this case over here, there is no ln, but there is x, so my u is going to be x, the dv over dx, has to be sine x. Now if I differentiate u with respect to x, I get 1. And to find v, I have to integrate. So if I integrate sine x, I get minus cos x. Now I know that the integral of u dv over dx, dx is equal uv minus the integral of v du over dx, dx. So I'm going to apply this integration by parts formula for this integral. So the integral of x sine x dx is equal uv, so that is x multiplied by minus cos x, giving me minus x cos x, minus the integral of v du over dx. So minus cos x times 1, which is minus cos x dx. Okay. So the first term remains the same, it's minus x cos x minus 
integrating minus cos x gives me minus sine x plus c, the constant of integration. These two negatives become positive, so I can rewrite this whole thing as minus x cos x plus sine x plus c. Let's have a look at the second integral. The integral of ln x over x cubed dx. First of all, I can rewrite this fraction as x to the power minus 3 ln x. Now u is going to be ln, if not, x to the power n. Over here, we have a product of two functions, x to the power minus 3 and ln x. The ln x is included, therefore u has to be ln x. It has more priority. So u is equal ln x, dv over dx therefore has to equal x to the power minus 3. The next step is to differentiate u with respect to x, so du over dx is equal 1 over x. Then I need to find v, so I need to integrate my dv over dx. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So that will be x to the power minus 2 divided by minus 2. Now I know the integration by parts formula, which is the integral of u dv over dx. dx is equal uv minus the integral of v du over dx dx. So now I can find the integral of ln x over x cubed dx. So, the integral of ln x over x cubed dx is equal to uv, so ln x multiplied by x to the power minus 2 divided by minus 2, which is minus a half x to the power minus 2 ln x minus the integral of v du over dx. So x to the power minus 2 divided by minus 2 multiplied by 1 over x. So that will give me minus a half x to the power minus 3 dx. So I take it a step further and I get minus a half x to the power minus 2 ln x minus. Okay, I need to integrate this now. So if I integrate, I get 1 over 4 x to the power minus 2 and then the plus c, constant of integration. So I'm going to write this whole thing again without the brackets, giving me minus a half x to the power minus 2 ln x minus a quarter x to the power minus 2 plus c. This was the first part of my video on integration by parts. In part 2, I will be covering more juicy questions. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.